I'm living my best life at the Golf Face Hotel this weekend, and no one can ruin my time. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another beautiful day in Sri Lanka. Now today I'm talking to you guys from the beautiful capital city of Colombo and I have a very special video planned for you guys. Now right now I'm actually talking to you guys from the Gulf Face area of the city which is undoubtedly one of the most beautiful areas to come and stay as a tourist. It's pretty centric, close to all of the pretty iconic sites in the city and it also is very close to well all of the local neighborhoods so you can go and dabble inside of the peta market if you want to find something crazy or you can just come and lounge right on the coast if you want to relax now today i'm actually talking to you guys from the golf face hotel which is the oldest hotel yet still one of the most luxurious in the entire country of Sri Lanka. This hotel was actually founded in 1864. It's been here long before all of these other buildings that you see behind me. And today I'm gonna show you guys exactly what the experience is like staying here and why you should definitely come to the Golf Face Hotel when visiting Colombo. Now, just from looking at the outside, it looks incredible. So much history has been made here inside of this building and I can't wait to show you guys all of the different amenities and of course talk to you a little bit about the history of the Gulf Face Hotel. Now today, it's a bit of a cloudy day. Last night it actually stormed quite bad. There was lightning, thunder. Um, it was still very beautiful though. It was nice to hear the waves crashing from my room. However, today it's time to give you guys a proper tour of this beautiful facility because this is one of the most beautiful hotels I've ever come across and I love the fact that it's so very well preserved. So join me as I show you guys the Gulf Face Hotel, the most iconic hotel undoubtedly in the entire country of Sri Lanka. So this here is the parking lot of the Gulf Face Hotel and I'm definitely probably the only tuk-tuk that has pulled in here as a guest but makes me super proud. <laughs> I love pulling up to beautiful places like this in my tuk-tuk. The look on people's faces is always priceless. But this here is where your journey is going to start at the Golf Face Hotel. Now, I'm not going to record too much in the lobby because there are a lot of people. However, let me just tell you guys, the lobby is incredible. I also feel extremely safe as well because you actually go through metal detectors. They scan your bags before entering the building to, of course, just uh, provide you with that extra sense of security that is very important, I feel like, especially in the day and age that we live in today. So that is super nice to see. And let me just tell you, when I pulled up here yesterday, I was greeted with the friendliest smiles. They grabbed my luggage, brought it straight to the room. I received a little welcome letter, which I'll show you guys a little later on. And of course, um, a welcome drink that was very special. It was actually an orange juice mixed with some mint leaves. Very delicious, very nice, exactly how you want to kick off a trip anywhere in the world. The Sri Lankan hospitality. I've said it before, I'm going to say it again, unmatched. So good. So yeah, let's jump on in and start exploring the Golf Face Hotel. Now we are about to enjoy ourselves a breakfast here at the Golf Face Hotel. And let me just tell you, everything about this buffet is fully stacked. They have everything from Western options to traditional Sri Lankan dishes. And the staff, as I mentioned the entire video, they're super nice, so friendly, and they make you feel right at home. So um, right now I'm actually about to enjoy my breakfast with this incredible view. I mean, look at this. The sun has just risen, so it's nice and, you know, it's not overly bright out. The breeze feels incredible. And I made it early to breakfast before everybody because I knew I wanted to film. So, yeah, everything is pretty chill. There's not a lot of people out here. However, in about an hour time, man, so many guests and they have music playing. It's awesome. It's an awesome vibe. So, um, yeah, buffet them top-notch fresh fruits uh, large meat selection they got an omelet bar what else they got crepes waffles all kinds of things anything your heart desires you're gonna find at this breakfast bar now that we had some breakfast let me give you guys a little room tour this here is my beautiful room at the golf face hotel and I actually have one of the suites that gives you incredible views of the entire coastline now this place is absolutely stunning the bedroom is 
incredible. The amount of detail and work that goes into maintaining this property is absolutely mind blowing. We have a beautiful king size bed, a desk with a fruit platter, a beautiful television, a sofa, a chair, and I was even greeted with some welcome snacks and a beautiful letter. Now the letter says, Dear Mr. Rodriguez, welcome to the Gold Face Hotel, the oldest hotel Swiss of 1864. Have a memorable stay with us. Thank you from the front office team. Beautiful little detail. Now let's walk over in this direction because here we have the bathroom and Wow, I had a look at it earlier. This place looks stunning. Look at all of the marble all the way around. Beautiful big shower head. Lots of space as well. A nice toilet. I love the seat. Beautiful sink. And look at this tub, guys. This tub is everything I've ever wanted. And of course, it has a beautiful view of the coast as well, which I'm definitely going to lounge in there and roll those blinds up. I don't care who sees me. I'm living my best life at the Gulf Face Hotel this weekend and no one can ruin my time. So we're gonna lift up those blinds, enjoy a nice bath and then head downstairs and I'll show you guys around the rest of the hotel because this place is stunning. It's truly an experience on its own and the swimming pool looks absolutely incredible. Actually, let me see if I can show you guys the pool from up here. That's the view of the pool and look at all the little cabanas that are along the side. So definitely a place you wanna go sit down, have some drinks at. Look at the beautiful waves crashing against the sand. Seriously, incredible place. All right guys, well, I'm gonna get freshened up and I'll see you guys downstairs. Yo, I'm truly impressed guys. Everything about this place is amazing. It's amazing, I'm in love. I already don't wanna leave. So I was actually just told that right in front of me there's actually two different restaurants. There's a Fire Beach restaurant where they specialize in pizzas and cocktails. And then there's also a Cuban Mexican restaurant that they told me is pretty happening tonight because it is a Friday night. So uh, we're definitely gonna check out one of, one of those restaurants later on tonight. However, right now I'm also a little bit hungry. So let's see if we can order ourselves some lunch and I'll show you guys a little bit um, around this property because well, since you guys seen the last clip of eating breakfast, it's been about three hours now. I had to get some work done. And I also wanted to take some time to relax inside of the tub, which I did do. And let me just tell you guys, that tub is everything. It's everything I ever could have wanted. Um, so yeah, nice relaxing morning so far. However, now I'm hungry. It's time to eat. You know, I don't think we're ever gonna get to the restaurant. I just found myself standing here right in front of this beautiful Sri Lankan flag, just taking in the breeze. And to be honest, guys, I can't believe I'm here right now. Walking around this hotel, it almost takes you back in time. As I mentioned, well, it does take you back in time. As I mentioned, um, this hotel was built in 1864. And the fact that it is still here says a lot about this place. And um, can you imagine what this coastline looked like back in that time? I mean, this was probably the only building standing here on this coast because everything else from what I'm noticing is completely modern and definitely built like in the last 40, 50 years. So it's nice walking around here. It takes you back in time. Not only do you get to relax, but you can also admire a piece of Sri Lankan history, which is something very special that you don't get in a lot of hotels around the world. Now, I'm noticing there's plenty of places to lounge around and sit, a lot of tables, chairs, little cabanas that actually have some shade over them so that you don't get burned by the sun and you can enjoy this beautiful breeze that's coming off the coastline. And I must say, um, I love that there's so much open space so you don't really crash into too many other guests while you're rocking around the property. It's very nice. I like that. So I decided to sit here at the Fire Beach restaurant and I'm going to save the Cuban Mexican food for dinner. But wow, the vibes here are beautiful. I mean, you got the swimming pool. Now I could have actually ordered my food down at the pool, but I'm more of a fan of eating at the table than underneath the cabana. So I'm going to eat my lunch here and then jump on into the pool for a swim. But I must say I'm truly impressed at the at the prices on the menu as well. I mean, everything is extremely, extremely affordable. I mean, most of the menu items are under 2,000 rupees, which is under six US dollars, which is um, kind of hard to come by in a lot of hotels. In many of the other places I've stayed at this trip, a lot of the menu prices, you know, were into the 15, 20 dollar range for for most meals or sides. And here, I'm definitely seeing the complete opposite. I mean, you get a lot of bang for your buck. Now, I just got done ordering a bucket of beers because they actually have a promotion here right now for 
four bottles for 2,400, something like eight US dollars for four bottles of beer. So you know what? I'm going to drink four bottles of beer by the pool, live my best life because this is what you do when you're on vacation and you're enjoying yourself. As I'm saying, um, I'm winding down now. The Sri Lanka series is slowly coming to an end. I've had an incredible time here in this country and it's nice to, you know, come to a place like the Gulf Face Hotel to unwind and relax before heading out of the country. And, you know, it's also a great place to sit down and ref reflect on the entire trip. And, you know, that's what I've been thinking about a lot today. I've been thinking about all the incredible times I've had, all the incredible Sri Lankan people I've met, the incredible experiences that I had along the coastline and in Kandy. Met so many good people, man. And I truly love this country. I'm going to be back many more times. I know I will. Cheers, guys, to an amazing time here in Sri Lanka. What a place. Amazing people, amazing nature, amazing food. Definitely add this place to your list. It will not disappoint you. It's one of those places that you come, you visit once, you get sucked in, and you're definitely going to come back. I mean, this is living. I've been, I've been living my best life this entire month. Not bad, smooth, just like it says on the bottle. I like this. All right, so my pizza just made it out and this looks and smells incredible. I got a margarita pizza. I just kept it simple because, well, the bucket of beers came out and you know what that means. You can't eat too much because I definitely want to enjoy myself and just chill here at the pool. So I'm gonna eat this margarita pizza, jump on in for a swim, and this is how I'm gonna spend the next few hours here um, at the Gulf Face Hotel. Now I must say the staff are incredible. Such great guys. Just got them top chopping it up with them about Sri Lanka, my favorite places. They're all from Colombo and they gave me some tips on some areas I should visit throughout my stay here because I am going to be here for three nights. So I'm definitely going to take up, take them up on some of their recommendations. And for now guys, I'm going to enjoy this beautiful pizza. Look at this. Now, they actually make burgers as well, all kinds of different salads, uh, rotisserie chickens, and they actually make this in a brick oven right behind me. Now they actually just turned on some music as well. So yeah, good vibes. Alright, so I've been hanging out here at the pool for roughly two hours now. It's been an incredibly great time relaxing, drinking beers. I'm actually done with my bucket. Probably going to order another bucket. Why not? That's what you do when you're enjoying yourself. And as you guys can tell, the waves crashing is just such a peaceful, such a peaceful sound. And it's a nice place to sit back, relax, and as I mentioned earlier, reflect on the trip. What a great time we've had here in Sri Lanka. And here at the hotel, I've actually met some incredible people as well. I've spent some time in the pool. It's been good. It's been a good time. So I think I'm actually about to go upstairs now, get freshened up. And yeah, we'll see what we get into. Maybe make our way over to the Cuban Mexican restaurant. I know I've been eating a lot in this video, but what you guys don't see is all of the time in between the clips of me just relaxing and enjoying my time. I mean, look at this place, guys. This is living. This is living. This is what I've wanted to do this entire trip. Uh, now that I just spent so much time filming, even though I'm filming right now, it's nice to, to relax and enjoy, enjoy this evening, this beautiful evening to myself. So it's the next day now, guys, and I've spent the last four or five hours just hanging out by the pool. This place is absolutely incredible, and sorry if you guys hear that wind, but I'm not fixing the problem, man. I'm enjoying my best life right now, feeling this breeze coming off the shore has been the highlight of my trip here in Sri Lanka because, you know, I obviously make these videos for you guys, and it's honestly a lot of work. It's non-stop. I'm always out filming, always out uh, trying to talk to the locals to come up with great video ideas for you guys. And it's been nice to just sit back, relax, and wind down the last two days. Now I still have another full day here, a whole another night ahead of me. So I'm going to be lounging out at the pool. I'll probably head out into the city center to film at least one more video for you guys. But 
please check out Golf Face Hotel when you come to Colombo. It's one of those places that it's not just an accommodation. I've said it before in this video. It's an experience on its own. Sitting here, feeling the breeze coming off the shore is truly a once in a lifetime experience, especially because as I mentioned, this hotel has so much history. Walking around, seeing all of the memorabilia, talking to all of the staff that love their jobs, that love working here and talking to you know people like us that come from all over the world it's incredible it's a great feeling you feel very welcome here and yeah i'm not really going to talk too much about prices on how much this place costs because i'm pretty sure it changes throughout the year depending on what time of year you come right now it's actually a little bit more expensive because it is sri lankan new year's coming up Unfortunately, I am leaving a day before the Sri Lankan New Year's, but I'll be back. This is a country that I've fallen in, that I have fell in love with over the course of the last month. And I know I'm gonna be back many more times. There's still so much more to explore, so much that I haven't covered. And I definitely wanna bring Gladys here to share these beautiful places with her. So please let me know what you guys thought about this hotel experience. Let me know if you guys would stay here in the future. And I'll see you guys again soon for another adventure for now. I'm gonna enjoy my time here at the pool. I mean, look at this place, it is stunning. Even though it rained last night, everything is nice, dry, and it's awesome. It feels great being here. So I'll see you guys again soon for another adventure from either here in Sri Lanka or somewhere else in the world because to be honest, I don't know if I'm gonna get out again and film more here in the city. However, I do have planned to go out tomorrow and film something, but like I said, I'm a little bit too relaxed now and I figure, you know what, we've had an amazing time here in Sri Lanka. We've made incredible videos, made some incredible memories, and I'm happy with what I've done here. I'm happy with the people I've met, with the videos I've created, and I think you guys can all appreciate all of that hard work as well. So, thank you guys so much for the support. If I don't see you again here in Sri Lanka, then I'll see you in India, because that's where we're heading in two days. So, I'm excited. Time to check out another part of India, another region of the country, and I'm gonna be sharing all those adventures with you guys later. You were always smarter. I was the one